anyone who thinks that policy um, and social welfare policy doesn't affect their lives or the lives of their clients is definitely not paying attention. When doing social services or providing any type of public um, benefit, it's, it's never going to be uh, without the context of the social policy that's um, kind of determining uh, how things get paid for and um, what's allowed, what's reported. I wanted to know how, how policies, systems, institutions um, and law um, apply and impact the lives of intersect with the lives of people. There are students whose families experiencing homelessness um, and there's some policies around that that feel really important to know and be able to support the family with. I think working in a school we get to work with lots of different kids and families um, that are interacting with lots of different systems. Most of the kids that I see um, have an IEP, an individual education plan, which is a federally mandated document for students who need additional supports. We're always looking for the least restrictive environment for the student and that's something that's like mandated through um, the federal policy on having an IEP. They work at an organization that provides a myriad of services in New York, um, starting with street outreach and um, their main goal is to help individuals who are experiencing street homelessness to be placed into housing. My current role is the Director of Data Services. We're looking at really a lot of the determinants of um, segregation and why we don't have truly inclusive fair housing and why um, creating deeply affordable units in the city is such a challenge. So I work as the Assistant Director of Clinical Education and Innovation at the NYU Silver School of Social Work. My work is, it encompasses a number of buckets. One is I do research, so we do poverty-related research. The other is I do a lot of training and technical assistance where I create and help to disseminate trainings for behavioral health providers across New York State. And the other one is that I coordinate research activities around inequality for faculty from across the university. I work as a mental health professional in a community agency. I felt that clinical work couldn't be done in a vacuum and so it would be helpful to understand um, exactly what goes on um, when people are interacting with courts, with mental health services, health care, um, and also various systems of discrimination um, and how they are, well, how they play into policy um, and law. And I do education around sort of understanding what is sexual violence, how do we recognize it, how do we prevent it, uh, bystander skills and consent education as well. whether you're LGBTQ or trans or a person of color or coming from a Muslim background or a Buddhist background, it can be really difficult to find services that feel appropriate and culturally hu humble um, and sensitive in a way that they can actually find healing, whatever that means for that survivor. So I think um, we tend to silo gender-based violence as its own category, and in some ways it is, but um, our policies shape whether or not they can even access services. So I think that's just one of the reasons why we have to keep paying attention and keep really plugged in to the systems.